So now we'll move on to the nature of the resurrection body. So concerning the resurrection body, which Yeshua had, Jesus had, there are nine specific things to consider. Um, first of all, um, we noted from the historical segment, which we did earlier, that um, he, Jesus was not always recognized immediately. And um, as we explained then, yet there were enough similarities that eventually those who knew him recognized him. And I, I gave an example of that in that, at, at that point, that it's like when I came from Belgium back to England and I saw people ladies, women I'd gone to, to school with, and I thought, is that, is that Jane? Is that Pauline? It looks like them, but I think it is, is it? You know, somebody you've not seen for a long time, they've changed a little bit, but the basics are still there enough for you that, to recognise them. And it was a little like that. So, the first um, thing that we notice, apart from the fact that recognition wasn't immediate, is that Jesus had the ability to appear and disappear. Now this is in Luke 24 verses 31 to 36. I have to just read some of these because they're just so good. So Luke Luke 24, 31 to 36. Luke 24, 31 to 36. Then their eyes were open. Here talking about his disciples. Then their eyes were open and they recognised him. And he disappeared from their, their sight disappeared just disappeared so he has the ability in his resurrected body to appear and disappear in john 20 verse 19 it's the same john 20 verse 19 on the evening of the first day of the week when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the jews jesus came and stood among them and said peace be with you. He just appeared. The doors were locked and he just appeared. The light's a little dodgy on this, but anyway. Thirdly, his new body had no problem with physical barriers. He was able, as we see in John 20 verse 19, to pass through locked doors. That was not a barrier. So, the fourth thing about his body is that it was a material body. We must remember, although it was a, the body was able to appear and disappear, to go through bar bar barriers, it was a material body. A mater it wasn't a ghost, not a spirit. It was a material body. And Jesus himself described it in Luke 24, 39 to 40. Luke 24, 39 to 40. Luke 24, 39 to 40. And this is Jesus saying, he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see, I have. And did you notice what he said here, flesh and bones? Normally you say, yeah, my child is a mind, my flesh and blood. No, he didn't say flesh and blood. He said flesh and bones. It's not a blood-sustained body. It's a spirit-sustained body. So in the place of flesh and blood, Jesus said, 
flesh and bones. So the fifth point is the resurrection body of Jesus still had the nail prints and spear wound. And in John 20 verses 24 to 27, we see that the marks of the crucifixion are still very much in evidence on his body. The sixth thing about the nature of the resurrection body of Yeshua is that it was not merely spirit. And we see in Luke 24, see, sorry, uh, Luke 24, 41 to 43, where he said before, do you have anything to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate it in their presence. He ate fish and bread to show that he was not a merely spirit, an apparition or a ghost. This was a material body and he could eat. So seventh is resurrection body could be felt and although he could come and go through doors, appear and disappear, there was enough flesh and bone material that his body could be felt and we see this in Matthew 28 verse 9, Luke 24 verse 39 and John 20 verse 17. Eighth, the resurrection body of Jesus was visible. It could be seen in day-to-day -day affairs. It wasn't a vision, it wasn't a dream. It was a normal, everyday sight. And we see this in John 20, verse 20. The ninth thing about the nature of the resurrection body of the Messiah is that it could and did breathe. In John 20, 20, it says, John 20, On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, we saw this before, and he appeared, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After that, he showed them his hands and his side, and the disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. So he, the resurrection body was visible. The ninth thing is that it could, sorry, it could breathe, yes. And with that in verse 22, and with that he breathed on them. He breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. This is the initial Old Testament spirit of illumination that we would receive when we're first born again in order to help us understand so we can accept it by faith. So in, in the light of these nine things, we can draw the conclusion that first, it was the same body that died and rose again. It wasn't a replacement body. It was, um, it was recognizable. However, it had undergone a change, a major change in many areas. We've seen there's no blood. It's a spirit-filled body, um, a spirit-sustained body. But there were um, enough changes that he could be recognised immediately, uh, the same Yeshua. Thirdly, and this is another important point, that Messiah's resurrection body was glorified. Messiah's resurrection body was glorified, yet that glorified body was veiled during those 40 days of post-resurrection ministry. When he appeared, he appeared just like a man, as was the case with the women in the garden and later the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. Throughout the 40 days, of post-resurrection ministry, the glory was veiled. But after his ascension, 
it was no longer veiled. And we see that in Philippians 3, 21. Let me see if Philippians 3, verse 21. A way to save you from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything on his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. And again in Revelation 1, 12 to 18, Revelation 1, 12 to 18, and I turned to see, and this is John, uh, uh, I turned to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw seven gold lampstands. And among the lampstands was one like the Son of Man, dressed in a robe reaching down to his feet and with a golden sash round his chest. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet were like bronze glowing in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of rushing waters. Here we see this then. After his ascension, it was no longer veiled. So these are the facts of the resurrected body of Yeshua. It's not always clear whether some things are true because it was a resurrected body or because he is God. Some, because he is God, Jesus is God. Some things um, will be the same for our um, resurrected bodies, but some things will certainly not be true. For instance, our resurrected body is said to be perfect, without any evidences of aging or marring, yet the body of Yeshua still have the marrow sword had pierced his side. So what is true of his resurrection body will not necessarily be true of ours, though there will be many similarities. So here I'll finish off the nature of the resurrection. I'm going to do another short video of the importance of the resurrection and you'll see um, the significance of it. It's a short one. So thank you for listening. I hope that's clarified something and that you will come back and listen to another one of our ladies Thursday afternoon Bible studies very soon. Thank you and God bless.